All right, hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's your buddy Mr. G. Today we're going to talk about our low poly image project today and this week we'll be working on this project where we're going to take photographs and we're going to apply this technique to it to give this polygon effect to it where it has like kind of a low poly like a video game character that's made out of polygons um, and I've got some different examples here that uh, we can look at in your uh, assignment so please check those out okay now it's a relatively easy uh, project it's just a technique it's just you know kind of set it up and wash rinse and repeat so let's go get that set up right now let's jump over here to Photoshop okay let's go ahead and just I got one working here I'm working on Bill Murray here um, let's go and turn this off for right now okay I'm gonna go ahead and let's just make a new one here I'm gonna say new it's gonna be an 8 by 10 we're gonna call it make call this low poly your name um, 8 by 10 300 dpi go ahead and create that okay I've already got my picture of Bill Clinton or Bill Murray set up in here I'm gonna go ahead and grab it here and I'm going to just size it up to where I want it by hitting holding down my move tool hold down option stretch that out and then I'll go ahead and commit that and then I'm going to say file and then save make sure we save and save often okay now that I've got that set up okay essentially this is what we're going to do we are going to get our polygon lasso tool and we're going to make polygons we're going to specifically make triangles okay now the colors i'm going to select or i'm going to select until i kind of have a shape that only engulfs about one color here okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take all the colors that are in there because there's a multiple different colors that we get in really close here we can see that we've got you know lots of different colors within his skin tone there and it's going to take an average of that so i'm going to go to filter and i'm going to go to blur I'm going to go to average and it'll do that. And then I can just kind of go on my merry way and continue to make more polygons and go filter average and just keep on doing that. Until I've got everything covered. And again, I'm not I'm trying to break only one approximate color at a time okay so that's all well and good and everything now we're going to automate this a little bit so that we can work a little bit more precise and we're going to set up a kind of a quick key an action key so that we can automate some of the things we're going to do okay first thing we notice right now when I zoom in here close, uh, even though I was trying to be careful, I'm getting spaces in between here, okay? So we're going to set up a grid and have our polygon tool snap to that grid to try and eliminate that, okay? So let's go ahead and go Command Z. And the other thing, we're doing this right on top of the image, so we're kind of destroying the image as we do it. So we're gonna make some precautions here. I'm gonna hit Command Z and go back to all the way here. Okay, first off, Let's make a copy. We're going to go Command J, make a copy, take the original, go ahead and lock it, poke out the eyeball just so we get an extra copy if we need it. Okay, now we'll work on this copy. Okay, on this copy, we're going to set up that grid so that we can eliminate those spaces. Okay, I've got my polygon tool. I want you to make sure you have this anti alias button unchecked here. That'll make your edges a little smoother. And then we're going to go and turn on our grid. Okay, now our grid. We go to preferences here we can adjust our grid okay i'm going to go down here to grids guides and slices okay that brings up this preferences menu here and the grid menu here first of all i can turn on my color thing medium blue works the best for mine you can adjust it to a different color if your pictures uh, doesn't show that well i've got my grid every 25 pixels and i've got subdivisions i don't want to divide it anymore one's enough okay and i can set it to dashes points or straight lines i like the straight lines okay you can adjust those as you like if you please okay i'm going to say okay now that i've set up my parameters i'm going to go to view and i'm going to go to show grid okay Boom, there's my grid, okay? Now you can see that I've got a grid on here, okay? Now, when I come in close to one of those, it's going to snap. You see, it's kind of snapping to the corners of the grid, 
Okay, so if I make a shape here, I'll go and make a like that. Okay, now I've got my grid and it snaps right to it. So I guess that'll help us line one up. So I can go up here, command shift. Uh, what is it? Command shift F to put that filter on there. And then I can just go right next to it and it'll snap to those and they'll go right together without me having to do that. Okay. Now I'm just using the quick key right now with the filter and average here that'll apply the last filter I had. Okay. But we're still doing it on that picture. Okay. So what if we could put those on top of that onto another layer as we go, and then that would be above that. So if I go to command Z, let's go ahead and go back a couple times. Okay. So I've got this selection right here. Okay. What we want to do is if I go and have that selection, I can make a new layer from that selection. Okay. So if I just hit command J, that's going to make a new layer from that selection. Okay. So I just made a new layer of that little triangle there I made. Okay. Now I can select it by holding down command and clicking it. That'll select it again on that layer. And then I will go to filter and I'll go to blur and then I will go to average. Okay. Then I'll hit command D to deselect it. And then I'll go back and I'll make another triangle. Okay. That's a lot to do when we're probably going to have to do this several hundred times, right? So let's automate that. To automate that, we're going to set up an action. Okay. Actions are right up here in your history bar. There's a history and actions. If you don't have it, you can always go up here to window and make sure you have actions selected. Okay. Actions are right here. Okay. And I've already set this up, but let's go ahead and do it again just so you can see the process here. Okay. I'm going to click this little button here. It says make a new action. Okay. So I'm going to make a new action. Okay. Let's call this polygon action. Okay. Then I'm going to click record. Okay. Now it's not recording. It's only recording the buttons I actually push. So I'm going to make my action. So we're going to Ooh, let me stop this here real quick. First, we're going to make a selection. Okay. So I'm going to make a polygon. Okay. Now that I have a polygon, hit record. Okay. Now what I want to do is go command J to make a new layer from that. And then I'm going to command click to select it. And then I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to blur and I'm going to go to average. Then I'm going to go command D and then I'm going to go and select layer one again. And then I will click stop. So in my polygon action, you can see recorded layer via copy, set selection, average, set selection, select layer one again. Okay, so that's the action. So now if that all works right, okay, I can just use that. Okay, let's go ahead and click on that. Let's give that a quick key. Okay, now if I double click on it, it'll pull up the option here for it. Now function key, I'm going to set this to F9. Okay. What it essentially is going to do, it says that I'm going to uh, be able to use the F9 key on my keyboard to do all those things with just a thing. It's kind of like setting up a macro on a video game if you've ever done that, like where you set several moves and it all records it with one keystroke. So that's what we're doing. Okay. So I'll say, okay. So let's see if I did it right and see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and I will make another polygon. You got my polygon here. Okay, now I'm just going to hit function F9 and looks like everything went right. Okay, let's try that one more time. So I'm going to go over here and let's go and go on his eyebrow here. Function F9. Okay. So that is essentially the process of this. Now, the smaller areas where you got more detail, like around the eyes or maybe teeth or something, you'll do smaller polygons. Jump over here to my more finished picture here, where you can see I've got some smaller polygons going on around his eye. 
And as I get to bigger areas, like out here on his cheek, I move out to bigger polygons. Okay. But essentially it is a wash, rinse, rinse and repeat uh, until you get done with your image. Okay. So that is the process. Go ahead and get started and I'll have more tutorials later this week. Have a super duper day. Do good work and stay creative.